Greetings everyone, this is Domingo with you today from the main channel and today we're going to be doing another tutorial on Windows Movie Maker. Now the first tutorial that I have on this video you can look at in the annotations or actually on this channel I should say in the description or in the cards at the end of this video. Now there are a lot of features that I haven't gotten over yet. So the first feature that we are going to use here is the webcam video function. So we're going to highlight our Movie Maker and we're going to click webcam video and then it will take us to a menu where it will allow us to select our audio device and webcam. So what we're going to do is we're going to select for example the blue snowball and then our life cam HD 3000 or whatever camera you have. And then there's also going to be captions, trust center, and advanced. So this is just your default. So with the audio and video we have that set up so we're going to click OK. So what it'll do is it'll access the screen and the camera that we have selected here and we're going to go with what we have here. Yes, I am in a blanket because it is cold down here. Anyways, it gives us an option to record, stop, and cancel. So what we're going to do is we're just going to press record. So we're going to be recording our footage from here into the Movie Maker so that it will allow us to edit our finished product and add filters and music and whatever we like. And then when we are finished with what we want, we just press stop. So it'll stop the recording and it'll save it into a WMV file. So what we do is we're going to name it for now Test Capture. And then we're going to go into Videos and then we'll click Save. So it will now save everything that we have done onto our Movie Maker template here. So you have to make sure that your webcam is hooked up through USB and it is detected within the software. So we're going to play back our video. That's the footage we've recorded just now. So what we can do is we can edit by looking at the audio lines in our footage. Now sometimes it's really hard to do jump cuts in this software so what you can do is you're going to highlight a certain section here and then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the line and click split so what will happen is that it will split the two clips between each other and then you can delete anything with uh, space issues so we're going to delete this scene and then we're gonna play it back So we've just split a clip where the audio was not present and kept it seamless. So here's another example of a jump cut. We're going to go here, we're going to right click, then split, and then we're going to do the same thing here, right click, then split. So it'll split the clip like so. This is how it looks. Okay. So that is a way that you can do a jump cut in Windows Live Movie Maker. Now, as I said before, this software has a rudimentary theme, but if you know how to use it and you keep practicing at it, you're going to get so good at it. And then you're going to click here to split other parts. As you can see, this part here, there's like little bits of audio here. So we're going to right click on the line again, then we're going to click split. And then it will split up that clip here and then vice versa. Here's a blank space. We're going to right click, then we're going to click split, and then we're going to go here. We're going to right click and then split. And as you can see, we have split the blank space here and we've made it seamless like this. So that is how you do a jump cut in Windows Live Movie Maker. And what you can also do, if you have a microphone enabled, you can record narration. So you go into the record narration menu and then it will give you the option to record, stop, or cancel. Now this works if you have a microphone that is already hooked up, preferably a blue snowball like this or any other external microphone device will do if your computer will support it. So this is how you set it up. It's the same as recording your video, but you just record the narration. So we're not going to do that right now because there's going to audio there's going to be that audio that overlaps it so we're not going to bother with it so we're going to press cancel but it's the same thing as recording a video with your webcam 
and you can do this if you have a professional webcam set up and you have good lighting and you have good audio that is what you can do so you can also apply the filters here so what you can do is you can apply a contemporary filter like this and it asks us if we want to add music so we're not going to so for now we're just going to preview what our templates applied are like so so far it's looking pretty good and the filters that we've applied are working to our advantage and as you've seen in the previous video we've already told you how to apply the title the captions and then also the credits now if I did not cover this why don't we just quickly cover it again so for the title we t press title and then my custom movie or whatever we like and then we click outside and then it will allow us to go and see our title here well, we can also move it up so that it's in a more it's in a it's in a better order so we're going to delete this part and then we're going to just see this and that's where the title appears so so far it's looking more like a professional movie even though it's Windows Live Movie Maker you're making it at least a bit more presentable and then you can also do what's called a snapshot where you can make a snapshot this is a way that you can make a thumbnail as well so let's say you go to a certain point and let's let's go to a certain point here and then like that you click snapshot and then go to pictures and then it saves the snaps snapshot in a PNG format so if we go back into the folder that we saved it in there it is right here that's that's the original snapshot that we did from just the movie maker here and then it also allows you to put in animations visual effects such as such as black and white we're gonna press black and white we're gonna add black and white into the we're gonna apply black and white to everything or we can apply the threshold to everything so the effects in Windows Live Movie Maker are very limited but it's good if you want to do this for like vlogs or haul videos or quick vlogs that require jump cuts and you don't have the software if you have a Windows computer and such and such and you can also use widescreen or 4x3 format, but the standard nowadays is widescreen. Finally, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the menu in its whole. You can then post your videos to OneDrive, Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, Flickr, or through MSN groups. And then you can also sign into your Microsoft account so that you can use email access, and then you can rotate however you like. And when you're finished, you go File, Save Movie, and then you can go for high definition display if you want to have it set to HD. But you can also have it set for your Android or iPhone or whatever phone that you like and so forth. So that is just a quick explanation of some things that I didn't go over and I hope that this was easy to understand this time around. So feel free to comment below if you want me to do more tutorials like this because I know a lot of you want to get started on making movies and you don't have the software to do it. So this is the software that will allow you to make those edits and jump cuts and this video just went over just those basic techniques. And like I said, if you have any other requests about what Movie Maker tutorial I should do next, leave it in the comments below. So until then, have a great day and domination is near.